guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, right, we have something very special. Just guys, if you get crisp packets, right, and clean them, you'll be able to do something very special with them. Delete those. So, as you can see, you split it just down here. So your crisp packet looks like this, like that. And then you want to clean it. Okay, hold on. You may have teared it. Now, what you want to do, you want to get a towel, as you can see down here, right, you want to wrap it up, and you walk, want to walk on it, basically what it does is all the water gets absorbed, and it's good for when you walk this packet rips, like what I've done. Make sure they're nice and clean, because... I'm putting them in a box so we can make the blankets. But if you're wondering how you do it, you just get parchment paper and you get a lot of over about 200 to 300. So 100, 200, and 300. Um, so 300 to make a whole um, sleeping bag. Um, 200 to just make like, like a sleeping bag, but like two sheets. So it's like two blankets you can make, and then 100 just to make one um, smaller blanket. And that's what you do. Yeah, make sure they're properly clean if you're going to put them in the box, because you don't want your mm, box to get mouldy. Basically, you just repeat that process. As you see, I've two more bags there. Right, and basically what we do is we usually collect them and go to the, into the co-op and use them. Right, but instead of using them, um, and I mean, like recycling them, you could just recycle them by turning them into a blanket. So, yeah, not this. Just a bit down. be able to make one of these really soon seeing as when your mum's a child minder a lot of their children eat crisps especially during snack time okay, so let's run that on just raw thing just do a couple of squirts of soap Squishy soap, by the way, it smells like squishies, as in sweet. Here we go. Now we have a perfect, perfect, this one's perf, oh no, other than the sharp edges. Will overlap um, and have a crisp bag when you make it. So all these uh, blankets get donated to um, the homeless because because of the crisp packets, right? They get um, warm and they can be used as blankets. Now I think. Oh no, I have one more. Now the good thing is, is that you don't really have to flip the crisp bag over because where the um, where this is like laying here, I mean it's folded and you're stepping onto it, the other side is getting absorbed as well. So then, yeah, at the moment we have a lot of Dorito packets. Dorito. Yeah. 
So, um, yeah, again, all you need to do is to connect these is um, have an iron and put a parchment paper over it. Iron, you can iron them all together really easy. So if your um, local co-op has like a um, crisp bag bin, you could ask them to borrow some of the crisp bag bags. So yeah, basically what you need to do is as you can see I've messed up one of the edges here. So, so this bit down here or somewhere um, was a bit ripped and that's annoying. And another way to um, easily recycle them or um, to keep them as keychains, so all you need to do is get a perfect, a perfect thing in the crisp bag and put it in the oven and you can, it turns into like really small and you can use up a um, thingy to make holes in it and then you can get a um, thing and use it as a um, keychain. But I personally like the blankets ones better. I'm, my aim is to try to get um, a blanket by the end of this year, so we have a, about a week. If not, we hopefully we have one by maybe March next year, March 2022, or May 2022. So there, that is now all the crisp bags done and now I'm just going to look after them right and then eventually we'll be able to make a um, crisp bag thing but um, a crisp bag blanket but first I'm going to show you how you can lay them out so all crisp bags are different sizes so you could probably overlap them as well Like with a one more ripped, I'm probably going to overlap that. But as you can see, that's just a little bit of the blanket. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have about six crisp bags. Yeah. And hopefully by the end of the year, we have about 200. Uh, what our goal is to get 100, so we can try to make the thing. But our goal is to make get 300, not so we can make a um, proper thing. Um, instead, we can make three blankets for the homeless. So yeah, see you when we have enough.